Glen Grant Age 12 Years Space Side Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Should you grab one? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Hey everybody, Mark here at Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing whiskey awesomeness here in Winnipeg, the center of Canada. And today we're looking at Glen Grant, Glen Grant, age 12 years. It's 43% ABV, all matured in X bourbon barrels. Let's get that poured. There we go. Now I've had this for a little while, roughly about a year, and I don't know why I waited this long to do this, but anyway, I just did the 18 year old not long ago. And way back when I did the 10 year old, possibly the 16, I can't remember if I did the 16 or not. But anyway, time to do this one. Now this is fairly accessible and available in a lot of uh, markets. And here in Winnipeg, I think it's round about, I don't know, $60 or $70 plus tax, so 66 or 77. Um, so Canada's exchange is quite good, so that's actually very reasonable for this, uh, this product. And very light in color. Um, here on Whiskey Whistle, we'll check out the color of the whiskey, the legs, what kind of legs are coming down, the whiskey legs. Uh, then we'll check out the nose, the palate, and the finish before we give it a Whiskey Whistle whiskey score. Let's get started. We'll check out the legs. Oh, and before I do that, by the way, right about now I should be hitting 400,000 views and well over 3,000 subscribers. And what was the other thing that was cool? It just all seemed to culminate on this day. So really bizarre. Um, yeah, I, I, what was the other thing? Anyway, just, oh, right, right, and um, just past 300 reviews, so this is like 305 or 4 or whatever it is, and um, I don't know, 450 total videos so far. Um, anyway, who's counting, right? We're going to keep going, and we'll see how far we get. All right, so let's, whoops, let's check out the color. How does Glenn Grant 12-year-old look? This is 43% ABV, by the way. And roughly the same price as, let's say, uh, Glen Morangy. Probably its closest, what can I say? Style-wise, the most similar to Glen Grant. Of course, they're different regions. There are some differences, but there's some similarities as well. Anyway, so a very light amber or uh, just a light um, kind of a pale wheat hue what do you think that looks like anyway very nice all right let's check out the legs now 43 percent abv we should see some reasonable legs here for this 12 year old from space side yeah and they start fairly slowly again there's yeah there we go so we see that beginning there so fairly slow rundown. I guess they're using some very fresh, uh, fresh American ex bourbon casks, lending themselves to these beautiful legs here. Just gorgeous. Can you see that? I'll expect a very nice mouthfeel since it's got these beautiful legs to it. Okay, so on to the nose. It's just so fresh. We've got citrus and some stone fruits like apricots especially. It's very light. Not much in the way of vanilla here. It's very fruity. A hint of cinnamon, a dollop of ginger. Perhaps something kind of like grilled coconut. A 
and a hint of ground almonds as well. Again, this is kind of like the house style of Glen Grant. And as you can see, this one has just a, a, a painted logo here, the, uh, the emblem of James R. Grant. Major James Grants, yes, good. My memory is good. Okay. Now they have very tall stills, just like Glenmorangie, but they do have a purifier. Um, I think does Glen no Glenmorangie does not have a purifier, but Ardbeg does. The pur purifier for Glen Grant is very substantial. And um, it definitely will have an effect on the spirit. In fact, mm, what will it do? It will really aid in um, the um, condensation of heavier liquor, heavier alcohols, which will drain back into the pot. So only the lightest, for some people the nicest, spirits will get through and get into the cask okay anything else i'm smelling here i think that's about it all right let's check out the palette together cheers everybody hmm It's actually a little bit sharp. And a little bit prickly. A little bit effervescent. A little bit... Um, sherbety. But coming from the point of view of the 18-year-old, this is... You know, I mean, it's a substantial step down in aging. You're still getting a very nice whiskey, but it's certainly a little bit younger. Hmm. The more I drink it, the better it's getting here. So the fruit flavors are coming through. Lots of ginger. I was going to say bags of ginger, but that's actually not really a... Canadian expression but you know the 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 linguistic center of your mind is very impressive so you learn stuff and you pick it up and you use it right away and after having watched so many um, whiskey reviews and videos from England bags of is such a uh, interesting expression to say lots of anyway bags of fruit here hmm so ginger and fresh fruit some um, citrus a little bit of something getting towards grapefruit a little bit of orange rind as well Hint of raw almonds. Hmm. Now, I'm going to borrow a glass here, I think. Now, I think, should I do this? I've got the Glen Grant 10 year old here. And I want to compare that. I think I do. Because this was the former sort of similar iteration to this this is 40 percent abv you can see it's considerably lighter in color should we open it should we why not let's do it okay we're gonna open that okay so glenn grant 10 now i'm gonna clean this glass this is needs to be rinsed out a bit so i'm gonna rinse it rinse as some people in Scotland say, apparently. Is it a rinse? Rinse. Okay, there we go. That should be good. Mm. 
Let me do it one more time just to be sure. Should we do the Richard Pat Patterson technique? And throw it away. <laughs> okay. There we go. Really interesting man. And I hope I get to meet him someday soon. I hope, I think I might. We'll talk about that soon. Ah. I'm questioning. Now, color-wise, this is 40% ABV, whereas this is 43%. So that may be the, the very difference in color that we're seeing here. 40% uh, will be a slightly lighter than the 43%. Taste-wise, they're very similar. Slightly more almondine, a little bit of waxiness to it. The new 12-year-old is altogether fruitier, which is quite nice. Now let's add a little bit of water there. So if you can find the 10-year-old, I would highly recommend it. Same with the 16-year-old. Let that sit there for a minute, and I'll sip that one one more time. Not quite as overpowering on the on the palate. So with water added, Glenn Grant aged 12 years. Let's see how that is. Still very fruity. dry and a hint of spice on the nose so not much of a change here let's see the palette cheers everybody what's happened now is we have a little bit more sweetness in the palate and yet the dryness actually crescendos towards the end of the palate and into the finish. Hmm. Quite spicy if you hang on to it in your mouth for about 12 seconds. Very nice. The finish again, fruity, dry, a little bit of sour fruits, dried fruits, sour dried fruits as well. A hint of almond. Hmm. It's very nice. All right, let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Glenn Grant, age 12 years. What is that going to be? Well, folks, the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Glenn Grant, age 12 years. That's going to be 86 out of 100. Yep, you heard right. 86 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Glenn Grant, age 12 years. Hope you enjoyed that review. Make sure you hit the subscription button right over here to subscribe to Whiskey Whistle. Then click the bell so you're notified of future Whiskey Whistles. And why not check me out on Whiskey Whistle Crew through Patreon. Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com backslash W-H-I-S-K-Y W-H-I-S-T-L-E. Okay, check me out there. Hopefully you'll like that. Um, we'll see you for the next one, okay? Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Thanks for watching Whiskey Whistle. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Be sure to stay tuned next time to join me, the host of the show, Mark, as I explore more whiskeys with you. Take care now and we'll see you next time.